Hello YouTube, today we're going to look at Intents with um, Macro Droid. I've already created a macro here, but all I've got so far is a name for the macro, a trigger, which can be anything, but I'm just using floating button for now, and the action send intent, which you can access by pressing the plus on the blue, and then searching intent. So it's just here. So I'm going to cancel that because I've got one. I'm going to open this one up and we're going to move the floating button out of the way for now. So, with intents, most intents start off android.intent.action and then the last half of the intent is this bit which is going to show the alarms. So in this particular intent it doesn't need any parameters after that. So we're just going to click OK and we're going to save it which is going to move the floating button in the middle again. When I press the floating button as it's the trigger it's going to open my alarm clock app and it shows there it's fired the intent and it's been successful so there are other intents that we can use so if we turn that one off and we save it we can get if I go to my um, cache cleaner there's an intent in there that I'm going to show you how to get to the apps details page so here we go so configure and then you can see it so it's you also can send activity broadcast or service under this little drop down so here we go so we've got oh my other keyboard back up lets me put um, my cursor right at the front but I haven't opened that one yet uh, android.settings.application underscore details underscore settings this does need a parameter so in this case it's package and then that is a variable name so I'm gonna just swap out variable name with com dot arlo soft dot macro droid um, and click OK. I can't press the floating button at the moment, so we're going to just copy that out and don't save. And we go to an intent, which is what I saved the macro as. An intent. It's not quite caught up. There we go. Um, paste um, there and save. So when I press this button in the middle, it should take me to Macro Droids apps details page, and it has done. So that's another example for an intent. Um, I will give you links to the most common intents and lots of examples right so the next one we could look at is the if I go data come on saver ultimate it's on the store actually this one so um, this is just my local copy if I scroll down here Here's another intent for Play Store settings if I show you. Let's just move this floating button out of the way. So android.intent.action.view and then package is com.android.vending which is the Play Store and then the class is finsky.activities.settingsactivity which will take us if I show you in a second. I'm just going to click it and click test action. It will take us to the Play Store. Oh, it hasn't done. 
Something's gone wrong there. Is it because I've altered it accidentally? Where has it gone? Hmm. It's a shame it hasn't worked. No, it hasn't worked. The Play Store has updated very recently, which is potentially why it's not working. However, what we can do is we go into an app called Activity Manager, Activity Launcher, sorry. So if I just show you that on the Play Store. Yep, that's right. That's what we're after. Um, and then open. And it'll just get a list of my apps. This will show you how to find intents. It's not the only way to find them. Okay, so we've got a list of apps here. I'm just going to see if we can get the Play Store. Nope, it would help if I spell it right. Mm, no, don't turn that off. No, I clicked the button. <laughs> I tried to drag it and I, f I clicked it accidentally. So if I just close the keyboard. So these are the <laughs> Play Store's um, available activities that we can just launch. So instant apps, let's do that. Let's click that, um, give it a second, and it's taken us into the instant app settings. So here you can either turn it on or off. So if I go back to activity launcher, it's not doing it. So it was this one. So we'll long click it and click edit shortcut. Now what we can do is copy this and go back to MacroDroid. I'm just going to get that intent up that we had. An intent. Um, and then just get a blank intent. Spelt that wrong. And then package, we put com.android.vending, which we just copied from package. And then class, copy the class. So that should copy it. And go back and put that in the class field. There we go. And press OK. And that's this one. And press, should we do the, the button way? Let's just save this. And then press the button in the middle. And it's doing what we wanted. It's taken us back into here. Play um, in, instant, so instant apps. So we can, by rights, cancel that and then find play protect. I like to turn that off. Protect. Ooh, get off pro tect let's just check that's the right thing yep so edit so long click then edit I'm not going to copy that because it's already in the last one copy the class so long click copy go back to macro droid now in the recent update just give it a second. In the recent update, you can click this tile in the middle that says last edited macro. It, the position of the tiles is different on mine it, than yours because um, I moved mine about. You can click and drag these to drag them about. I don't know what I just did there. So Anyway, I'm going to press that and that's taken us there. I'm going to click uh, send intent and click configure and then take everything out of this class field here 
and paste in a second. Paste. And then save. Oh, okay, and then save. And then click the button, and it'll take us to play protect. Which I always turn off. There you go. That's how you do that. Now, for more examples, you can go to the store and type intent. And there are lots of different intents around. I'm just having a look for... Was it quick system settings or something? Quick system. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was quick system settings. And then I never. You could click the dots and test actions here, but. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have a look at so the intents here. You can just copy them and put them in your own macros. Um, so you can all oh, quick. It'd help if I could type, wouldn't it? Ma macro droid. Oh, rejects based. I don't yeah um go back i didn't alter the macro these aren't my macros by the way um just displaying random ones off the store so you can just scroll down and copy the mac copy the intent so these are macro droids intents so you can just copy these and use them i don't know macro list let's click that and just test action Oh, it's crashed. That's because it's updated recently. They need to update their macro. But you've seen it anyway, some of them. Um, so, you know, there's different um, ways to find intents. Also, the shortcut creator, which is an app. Here, I have mentioned this one previously actually. This one you can actually get the um, applications, you can get the manifest, which is where intents are specified. Uh, so, I'm not 100% familiar with it, I'm not going to lie. There's a play store. Let's view its. Um, oh, that's great. Hiccups. <laughs> we should be able to see its manifest. Theoretically, it's changed, so I can't find it now. Um, how odd. Yeah, maybe you're not. Maybe you can't see them. That's it. That one's gone. Oh no, I've put wrong button now. Show manifest. There we go. Um, and somehow you're meant to be able to find the intents. There's a lot of permissions on this one, isn't there? Application. Uh, Android dot intent uh, Android yeah Android dot intent dot view dot action dot view sorry so you should be able to get that information and then launch an activity that way that's what you meant to do I don't do that I do the quick way which was either search the store which we just looked at or um do what we were doing with common intents, Android common intent, so I'll put the link in, but let's just do this, common intents, common intents, 
Android. And then there's just a massive list of intent, so you can just search other places or contact the developer of the app that you're looking for. Oh, Android 11. Some other bits. Uh, cookie warnings. Bye bye. Why is it doing that? Oh, they're meant to be here, but they're not. Oh, oh here we go. I've clicked some up as I was scrolling by accident. So, when it loads, yeah, so these are the intents. So, you need to. Make sure though you put um, this is the alarm clock. So we had Android dot intent dot action and then dot show. Alarm. We had show alarm. That's set alarm. Why is it show alarms? Might be the next one. Doesn't matter. Anyway, have a flick through there. It tells you how to fill out the fields for some of them. So, there it shows you. So, we had action. We had class. Doesn't look like it's in here, but some don't need them. Some, some do. So, that's what we were doing. Anyhow, hopefully I've helped you with this video so you can get started with intents. I'll pop some links in the description to give some assistance and uh, best of luck with everything. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.